War is a dirty business. It thrives on death. It drinks our blood. It eats our flesh. Sure, it makes heroes of some. But how many men must die before that one hero stands tall? Hmm? And even these so-called heroes in battle do fall. In battle do fall. However, every so often, a warrior of a different breed answers the call. Evading the cold embrace of death, he rises above it all, owning the battlefield, making it his own. This, my friends, is one of those tales. Hey, what's up, guys? Wyatt Hurts back with a little more home front action uh, from the on live game service. And I hope you enjoyed the extra little intro I threw on this. Uh, was that, that was just for you guys. Just for you. Anyway, uh, Team Deathmatch, Borderlands, Battle Commander, and 18-0. Uh, and 0. Great kill count. Great to, you know, you can't, you can't do much better than that. Um, anyway, I do have the ACR out. Steady aim, quick draw, and blast wave. And I think that's one of the digital camos. I can't remember what it is. I should know these things, you know. Um, I have so many bloody hours on this game. I should know these little details. And I do have the personal UAV sweep out. Uh, and it comes into play here. BSMD TD uh, put him down pretty quickly. Saw him on the radar. Uh, this personal UAV sweep really does p get me off to a good start, you know. Uh, before you actually get that the, the perk uh, from your threat level. The, the, the personal UAV sweep that comes with that second star threat level is when I think it comes in. Um... But anyway, a second knife there, and then now a shot on Camilo, and you will see BSMTD coming up here, looking for a little revenge, but uh, sorry, you're denied. You'll all be denied this round, all of you, Nacho, you especially, sir. <laughs> and he does try to put me down right at the last second, you will see it play out uh, with his, he doesn't even come at me, doesn't even come at me like a man, pulls out the drone, but it is good to see Nacho back playing, uh, playing on here. It's been a long time since I've seen that guy. You know, there's a few guys that I really did play with a lot when I was, you know, just learning the ropes and, and really becoming a force to be reckoned with in this game. He was one of them, you know, and there are others. Uh, so, and he's been gone for a few months. Haven't seen him around much. Uh, saw him, I think, last week or, or sometime, you know, within the past couple weeks I saw him on here. You know, was surprised to see him. Welcomed him back. So, and he is in this round, and uh, he does have the teams really stacked against him. I mean, it doesn't help that I, I go undefeated here, you know, I survived the round. Um, but, uh, yeah, he really, the teams are a little heavy, heavily stacked on our side, and uh, we do dominate this round. I think, actually, I think it ends up being pretty close, considering I go undefeated here. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> I, I just kind of look at Tobster there. I mean, my, <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's just sitting there with an RPG out. So I thought it, uh, it it warranted a little, you know, a little, couple extra seconds of, uh, of uh, you know, airtime for the guy. Just for sitting there like that. But there he is. He's popping up. He's, he's working the ledge here. Maybe he's just he had a personal UAV sweep going and was just waiting to see the blips get a little closer so he could RPG them. Not that I'm a big fan of the power tubing, which is what it looks like he's doing. But, you know, a couple RPGs off the rooftop. I can't, uh, can't complain, complain about that. Finally, get Link here. Little long range fire. And there is a guy down there. You just kind of caught a glimpse of him. I'm not sure if an enemy or a, a friendly took him out, but there was a guy behind that bush. I wasn't just firing at nothing there. And waiting for this guy to step back out. And there's Nacho up in the heli. Uh, another pilot, you know, we kind of. Again, we. The two of us really did. Uh, get a handle on that scout helicopter at about the same time. Really, I think, uh, you know, as far as the scout helicopter goes, he and I were kind of the guys that maybe paved the way um, and maybe inspired others to get good at it as well, you know. Not not to say anything, I mean, there were guys that, that flew really well in the, uh, the Apaches before Nacho and I really started to, you know, master the scout. But uh, I never saw much scout action before he and I started doing it, you know, and getting really good at it and being really effective with it. A little sloppy fire here. Shebatan. One, two, three. It was his fault that it was sloppy. He didn't get on the ladder like he was supposed to. You know, he missed the jump. Threw me off my line. And there's Reaper. Going to town. Going up the ladder. Going to clear that rooftop. So I'm going to work the inside of Hooters here. And there goes Link one more time. Shooting him in the back. Filling him full of lead. Didn't look good. He didn't look pleased. 
And I'm really held at bay here by Razumni. I don't know how to pronounce that name right. Sounds right. Uh, I don't know how to, uh, or sorry, I just kind of held at bay. He, he does have this LAV out here. And I've only got the C4s. And C4s, you know, they're not really all that effective against a, uh, an LAV. Um, unless you have about three or four of them, you know. Unless you have an ammo resupply. Or if you have an RPG or, you know, a, a proximity launcher to back it up, you know. So quick knife there, save my teammate's ass only to watch him die, uh, but then do get a little avenge kill on uh, on Zemmel here. Stick him and just you know watching that radar, I knew somebody was coming around the corner. It just happens to be Link again, and Nacho is bailed on the chopper. He, there he is up there on the rooftop, and uh, I put him down. And this is about the point when he, uh, I think, said, "Well." Fuck this, why it's sitting in there with five stars? I'm sending in the drone. It's like having to go in and defuse a bomb, you know? He's, uh, he doesn't, it doesn't come in uh, face to face with me. He sits behind a camera somewhere and tries to get some machine to do the work for him. And I just keep working this. There's somebody out there is doing some great spot, and I don't know who it is. Uh, but between all the red diamonds flashing everywhere and my radar going, you know, and the five star. Be in the five-star threat level. So there's Nacho. He's back there. He's on. And here he comes in here with the uh, <laughs> the Wolverine. So I'm scrambling. I don't want to go head-to-head -head with this thing right now. I'm I'm out of there. And I take a few more bullets on the way out. But I do survive it. Pretty good round, you know, for uh, for surviving the duration of it. 18 and 0, 10,000 to 5,400 for us. Uh, so and a couple other good mentions, honorable mentions over here. But Babax 22 and 6, uh, Erickson 14 and 4. Reaper, come on, man, pick up the slack. Seven and four. What the hell is this crap? Um, Nacho nine and three over there. You know, not bad. He's a little rusty, so bear with him. I'm sure he'll be posting some better numbers in future rounds. And uh, so that's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vid. I hope you enjoyed the little intro. I hope you had a laugh or something about it. It was meant to be kind of funny. Um, but anyway, uh, until next time. Did I say, did I do my usual spiel? I can't even remember. God, my short-term memory is shit. Anyway, uh, I'll just skip that. Until next time, guys, remember why it hurts. Later.